Hey, 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 it's Chrissy Lulu. So welcome to the last two days of Mermaid. So with May over, finally done with drawing mermaids and mermaids and thinking of what to draw and everything. Well, um, it was kind of hard to figure out what to draw for the last couple of days. And I, I was a bit distracted on the 30th because, of course, I had little Sage out. But, um, um, just wanted to reflect over my experiences with this challenge. Um, all in all, I did end up kind of enjoying it a little bit more towards the end because I started getting a little bit more creative with the kind of mermaids I was designing and I was being more inspired by actual fish rather than trying to create a different mermaid just from my imagination every single day. Um, I mean, I was creating a mermaid from my imagination every day, but um, yeah, um, actually looking at things that existed in real life helped a lot. Um, I really did enjoy it. Um, I don't think I'll probably do it again just because I don't find mermaids super interesting. I know there are tons of people out there who are in love with mermaids. Mermaids are their everything. Yeah, um, I don't know. Uh, I may draw more mermaids in the future in May. But I probably won't do the whole challenge again. I did have fun doing this. Um, it got me drawing for the whole month. It helped me um, de-stress a bit during my finals week. And gave me something to do during finals week. And it helped keep me occupied for the days when I was home and I had nothing to do. So there were a lot of benefits for it. I got to experiment with... Um, more of my art supplies that I don't normally use. I did use a lot of pens. Um, I broke out my watercolors one day. Uh, I got my Copics out and started doing art with those. I did a lot of um, colored pencils. Um, I started using my Prismacolors for a little bit again during it. But yeah, it feels good to be done with it, but I would have, if I, if, I do do another challenge in the future. I would like to have more flexibility with the things I draw, which is one thing I do like a lot about um, Inktober, actually. Um, I do find Inktober to be a lot of fun. I did it fully last year. If you want to check it out, all of it, I have speed paints of every single drawing on my channel, there isn't any voiceover um, for them. I probably will do combination videos like I did for Mermaid this year for Inktober when I do it in October. Um, but yeah, and if you want to look at the pieces I did, they are on my Instagram, which is Russian Mango 404. And Check it out there. Link is in the description if you want to check it out. I have my DeviantArt down there too, which I should be updating soon, I hope. Um, it hasn't been uploaded or updated in a while, but I do try and upload a lot of my art there. Um, if anybody really wants to give me some suggestions on places that could be a good place for art, like doing art portfolios and stuff, um, I'd love to hear it. Comment down below. Um, Comment down below what you think your favorite part of Mermaid this year was, either from my drawings or from your own work or from anyone's work, really. I really want to hear it. Um, I didn't do a lot of connecting with other people who were doing Mermaid this year. A lot of the people I followed actually weren't doing it. But, yeah, I think it's really fun to participate in big community events like this. And if you're trying to boost yourself a bit, Posting, posting can never hurt you, um, unless you're making something extremely controversial. Um, posting art every day has gotten me 
quite a lot of subscribers over this last, or, well, not subscribers, a lot of followers this past month um, on Instagram, and I just notice every time I post, I tend to get a follower um, on Instagram, at least, so there is that. Um, tags always help if anyone's trying to figure out how to use Instagram to your benefit, um, but anyways, this video isn't about Instagram. Um, I think my favorite things from this month were probably my scalpel fish, um, or my surgeon fish. I really enjoyed them. Um, that was last week's? Yes. Um, with the seductress fish at the beginning, or mermaid at the beginning, and then the nurse at the end. They were both surgeon fish, so I thought that was kind of interesting that I um, began and ended that quote-unquote week with surgeon fish, because um, there's tons of different kinds of surgeon fish, actually, I figured out. While doing that, bl that blue tangs are surgeon fish, too. So, uh, yeah, I learned a lot about fish <laughs> through doing this. Well, I didn't really um, have that at the very beginning, because I was kind of just doing whatever. Um, I did I did create a lot of things I like. I think, what was it? The third? Hold on. I'm gonna look this up. Um, doo -doo. Yeah, um, so I really, my favorites that I did this month, if you want to check them out, were Day three, day five, day ten, day fourteen, day fourteen was fun. Day twenty four, day twenty five. Day 27, day 28, day 29, oh, hold on, I'm a, I'm a bit off, um, so for the last ones, for, I, I did like, actually, almost every single piece I did last week, except for the goldfish, that one didn't turn out very well, um, but yeah, um, there were a couple at the beginning that I did enjoy and enjoyed how they came out. And I kind of hope that you guys enjoyed watching me do this and attempt to use different um, art supplies. Sorry. Um, and if you want to ask me any questions, have any, are you curious about anything? Anything, you, there's anything you want to know? Comment down below. Um, I'd love to hear your comments. Um, I'm happy this is over, but I am jumping right into another challenge. If um, anyone wants to follow that, I will be posting videos here once a week um, on Wednesdays, and I will be posting every day on, well, I... I'm thinking it's going to be once a week, um, but we'll see. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different this next challenge that I'm doing. I'm Instead of following an official one, I am kind of creating one for myself. So if you want to join in, I would actually love to see what you do. Um, I want you to tag it with hashtag dog days of summer, either on here on YouTube or on Instagram wherever you post them, and then tag me. Let me know what you're doing if you decide to do this challenge. Um, share it with me. I really want to see if anyone does this. So, anyways, getting on with the challenge part, I will be drawing a different dog breed every day. Um, so I'm going to be doing two different kind of videos for it. I've kind of already started it because, as you know, today is the 2nd of June. So, um, I did my first day, which was a Pomeranian. I'm drawing a different dog breed every day. I'm doing a couple of loose sketches to kind of get a feel for the breed. And then I am going to do a full drawing 
realistic drawing of the dog. Um, you can kind of do whatever kind of interpretation you want on this. You don't have to do the sketches if you want. I'm just doing it for my own benefit, and I'm posting those two on my Instagram, Russian Mango 04. And I will also, or you could also do like cartoony dogs. I think it would be really a lot of fun to kind of learn how the dog is and then go about putting it into your own style and then kind of abstracting it that way, drawing it from your memory. I really think that would be a lot of fun. And if anyone does manage to do that, I really want to see it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My last drawing is, huzzah, I'm done, victory pose. But yes, if you have anything and anything at all that you want to say, comment it down below. Share this video with your friends if you want to. Spread the word about um, my dog days of summer if you really want to. And yeah, subscribe if you want to see those videos. Um, subscribe if you want to see my future videos. Um, hit the bell icon when, if you want to be notified. I upload Saturdays and Wednesdays, and I do art supply Sundays when I get around to it. I will be posting one tomorrow, though, because I have a video that um, has been pretty much done for a while, but I accidentally almost deleted all the files on myself and lost that whole video because <laughs> I forgot to actually save it. So, I was reminded, oh yeah, I never finished this. So, that will be going up tomorrow, probably, and then I need to record more. So, yeah. Huzzah! Thank you for watching this video. Bye!